Bird finds Wells. Now Knight again for the Robins. McGuane, patient build up. Hirakawa. Drives and gets his ball in, which has taken a little bit of deflection and very nearly poked home by Naki Wells. First real chance of the game for either side. Really positive from you, you know. Will be Bird. Dangerous area and just headed wide. It was Jason Knight coming in. He got away from Alfie Gilchrist. And a delightful ball in from Max Bird. Very nearly bought the opener. Viner into Knight. Now he will find Mametti. Here goes Mametti up against Burrows. Mametti into the area. Mametti working the angle. Good save. Really positive, Anis Mametti. Morgan's just sensing. There's a chance here, and that's a lovely ball into Max Bird. Max Bird feeding Sinclair yeah! Armstrong, who goes down, and that is a penalty taken out by Michael Cooper. No hesitation from the referee. Anis Mametti is the chosen penalty taker. Naki Wells, of course, is normally Robin's man from this kind of range. Big moment in this game. Mametti against Cooper. And Mametti buries the spot kick in the bottom corner to give the Robins the lead. That was great, great finish. A miscommunication between him and Zach Viner leads to another corner. Sheffield United have taken it quickly. In it goes towards the back post. Bouncing around and the header is in the back of the net and the blades are level. I think we've played as much part in that as they did, if I'm honest with you. We've had mo many moments to either hold the ball up top, give it away. Dickey calmly away from one, but then runs into trouble and then pulls his man back. Rob Dickey could be in a little bit of trouble here. Ah. Rob Dickey is in a lot of trouble here. Rob Dickey is off. Headed clear, not very far though. Souza will swing it back into the box. Here's a chance right at the death, and the Blades have snatched all three points. Joe Burrows buries it in the bottom corner, and it's heartbreak for the Robins and delight for the travelling fans in the Atio stand.